Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be a beginner's guide to how to program DMX, which DMX is, if you do not know, is what stage lighting and moving head lighting and stuff like that, wash lights, it's pretty much color lighting that you would use on stage, something like that. That's what DMX is. It's just, this video is going to be a beginner's guide of maybe a series of videos I'll do of how to program DMX. So this is just a little intro of it. And what I'm uh, fixing to show you is going to be two uh, wash lights and my DMX board. Uh, you've seen the DMX board before. Uh, I did an unboxing of it. I'll put that in the eye, one of these spots. I'm not real sure which one. And you can look there and see the unboxing of the board. Uh, I, later on the series, I'll do my moving headlights. And I also did unboxing of that, so same up here or down there in the description. And you can go watch those after this video if you hadn't seen them already. So let's get to this video, how to program our beginner's guide uh, to how to program DMX. Okay, so you see here I have my two wash lights and my programming board. This is the DMX 192 programming board. A little, uh, it's a simpler board. It's not real advanced. It's really for lights like this that are just doing color or maybe fading between colors or little strobes or something like that. Real simple lighting and real simple setup. Uh, first thing I did was I plugged my microphone cable or three pin cable, DMX cable, whatever you want to call it, uh, into the back of my board and into the first light. So then you imp so the output to input and then you'll do another output of this light into this light. So it's going from the board to this light to that light. But the, all right, so both of them are set on DMX one on the back. It's kind of hard to see with that scrolling. So uh, but each of these lights can go up to 512 DMX, which is kind of hard to explain. I'll do my best to do that in a minute here. All right, this goes to the board. There's, all right, on the left side of the board, you have your scanners. You have scanners one through 12. What that means is that's your 12 different lights. So DMX one is gonna be scanner number one. But then to get to the scanner two, we have eight sliders. But over here we have a page select. There's two sets of sliders. So we technically have 16 sliders. So to separate each light into a different scanner, scanner one will be a DMX one and you'll separate it 16 spots apart. So to be DMX one and DMX 17 would separate your two uh, scanners. So the same thing on a si uh, DMX1, DMX17, DMX33, and so on like that. That's how you separate on your scanners. Now if I wanted to have these two lights do the same thing and another set do a different thing, I would set these on the same DMX like I have now. On your top, we have the scenes, and that's where I can program, uh, make them do things on their own, change some green to blue and then red to white. And so if you want to learn more about that, you can go to horse my unboxing of the board and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Uh, and then I can control the speed of, if, of my scenes and any fade time in between each scene. And then I have a bunch of different buttons that I'll explain on that video. You can go watch it. So to program these two lights here, most of the wash lights are kind of the same. So we're going to select scanner one, and that means I have whatever's on DMX one, I'm controlling it. So our first slider on these is just a brightness. So all the way up will be full brightness when I choose my colors. Now the next three sliders are my three different colors, red, green, and blue. So my first slider, I slide all the way up. You can see they shine red. But just to show you that first slider again, if I go down to slider one, they dim down and brighten up. I pull that down. Now I'll go to uh, number three. I slide up. That's green. And then I go to slider uh, four. Is blue. Kind of hard to see, but it's blue. All right. So now you ask, how do I make orange and yellow and those colors? Purple. You just mix them. So if I want to make purple, I do red. And then I put blue with it. And then it turns purple, which is kind of hard for y'all to see. All right, and then if I wanted to do like a T 
tealish green, so there's my blue. I add a little green to it, it gets a little lighter blue. Something like that. And that's how you would choose your color on that. Then your next slider is gonna be your strobing. And, and if you went all the way up, it'd be, it would do sound to light. Or light to sound, whatever you wanna say. So I go up, it'll start uh, flashing. But it, it, by the frames per second on this, it's kinda hard to see they're flashing. So I go real fast, you can kinda see them scrolling there. And they go all the way up, uh, they'll do light to sound. Actually, I was wrong with that. <laughs> See how much I know about it. Let's go ahead and move to our uh, slider six and we'll get to the light, light to sound. So I'm just gonna turn all of them off and we're gonna go to six. Now this is one, it automatically fades in between each color smoothly where it doesn't have to jump between two different colors. This makes it where it fades between the colors seamlessly. And then this one, if you slide all the way up, it does light to sound, so I So there's your light to sound. And that's all the sliders this one has. You go to seven, it does nothing. So this, these two lights only have six sliders. So very easy, very easily to program on a DMX board. So let's say we're gonna do both of these on DMX1 and we're gonna set our first scene. So we're gonna go to whatever bank we want. So I'll just pick a certain bank. Well, let's say I choose bank 10 and we're gonna go into programming mode. So I hold programming and of course we go back to bank 10 because I didn't do that first. So we're in programming mode now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make uh, them both purple. That, that easiest color to make. So we do red and purple, or both red and blue makes purple. And so we got purple right there. So I like that color. So we're gonna do, hold our add button, and we're gonna hold scene number one, if that's what it's going to be. And our, our board will flash, and that shows that it's programmed the scene one. So I go to scene two, there's nothing there, go back to scene one, they're purple. All right, so scene two, I wanna make it just green. So there we go, I have it green. I do add, and to scene two, hold them at the same time. And let's make a third one, we'll do that teal blue, add, and we'll do scene three. So now we have our three colors, I do scene one, purple, scene two, green, and scene three, a teal blue. So that's how we do scenes. Chases are a little more complicated. Those are a series of more than eight scenes. Each bank has eight scenes. So I have up to 23 banks in my board. So each bank, I can have eight different uh, scenes in it. So if this is only in bank 10, so I only have three scenes in bank 10. And I can change that and that's how, that's how you do that. If I go to chase one and I wanna make a chase, what I do, I can choose from any scene in any bank and make that its own uh, chase. Don't really use chases that much. Mainly I'd only need eight scenes of what I do at the youth group and just slowly change them there. So now we do something different. Now let's get out of that and we'll get out of programming mode and we're gonna change this slide over here to DMX 17 because that splits them into the two different scanners. So if I hit scanner one, slide up on my brightness bar and I choose a color, do green. Only this one comes on over here because it's DMX one. If I want to go to DMX uh, 17, that's scanner two. So I deselect scanner one and go to scanner two. I slide these all the way down to get my uh, sliders back the same. Slide the brightness one up. And I want to make that one a teal blue. That's purple, not teal blue. Teal blue which is kind of hard for you to see the difference in those. So, okay, I make purple, you can tell the difference in those. Uh, so I have purple and green. The two different colors, it's because they're on two different DMXs. Let's go back into programming mode and make that uh, scene in our uh, 10. So I add and go to scene four. So we get out of programming mode and get out of blackout. Go to one, of course it's, all right, oh no, it didn't. I had it saved as 
two of the same color and scene one well you're right but you changed your DMX's so only that's saved as DMX one of what you saved when they were both the DMX one so only DMX one will do what you wanted it to do so you have to make sure when you save it that's what DMX is going to be on so that's one thing to keep in mind so that's a basic rundown one more thing I can do we can go into we're going to get them both back in DMX1 to make it a little more simpler because I was just going to show you there how to do different DMXs and how to choose different scanners. We're going to flash or go through our show of scenes by going between the three different colors we did. So first of what I got to do, I need to go back to Bank 10 and delete scene four, which was the one we did when they were two different DMXs. All right, now it's gone. And get back out of program mode and back out of blackout mode. So once every time you go to that, it puts you back at bank one. So we're gonna go to bank 10. Now we want them to do our three different colors, purple, green, and teal blue. So what we'll do, we'll go to auto. We'll put up both of the sliders down. We'll go to go to auto. So right now, if the slider's all the way down on your right side over here, the speed is only changing every 10 minutes. So that means that light will not change to the next scene till 10 minutes have passed. So I'm gonna slide it up till it goes a couple seconds. So one of those scenes, I didn't notice that, or it's showing nothing. So one of those scenes is saved as nothing. But that's why it's just jumping between each scene and uh, like that. Now if we want a little fade time in between them, we'll pull our fader up. And they kind of fade in between each color. But then when you do your fader on like washes, you kind of lose your color. Because it doesn't go all the way to what you had it at. So you may have to keep your fader really down and it doesn't do it perfectly, but it does, it's not a cut in between each one. So that's how you would do a scene, or a series of scenes in auto mode out auto mode and it stops so that's going to do it for the beginner's guide of dmx hope it was simple enough to maybe teach you a little bit about dmx uh next one i may do i may do a moving light and we may do some chases next time so that's going to do it for this video uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any lighting if you enjoy lighting and maybe if you, maybe if any issues if you have uh program dmx see if i can help you there so that's going to do it for uh, here and this video. But until next, I'll see you next Friday. Don't forget I upload every Friday. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload. I upload almost, I upload every Friday at around 2 o'clock central time. So that's going to do it for this video, like I said. And until next Friday, see you later.